moment of the rest of their lives is about to come through. And there's the killing blow. Guys, I'm inside the Royal Arena in the Copenhagen Major just finished, and we can finally crown the first kings of Counter-Strike 2. It's Na'Vi. Over the last four days, we've seen some of the best Counter-Strike played in person. But unfortunately, I literally have to go on a flight back to Toronto right now, so I'm going to kick it off to Dimitri, who's going to help tell this incredible story. All right, so before we get into it, just a friendly reminder that we, the Scory Sports, have a face it clan. It's got a real anti-cheat, it's free to join, you can play with me, us, our community, your friends, win points, redeem them for skins, links in the description below. Okay, so as Devin said, we could not have been gifted a better major to kick off this new era of Counter-Strike. And personally, I can't believe Navi did it. We're talking about a team that was probably the biggest underdog in the entirety of the star-studded top eight. Nobody knew if Alexi B could actually bring these guys together, or if Wonderful could really fill the shoes of Simple, if Emma and JL could actually go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the best players in the world. But these guys silenced all of the haters in a really big way. What's more is that they did it on CS2, an update that really changed a lot of the complexion of the eSport at a high level. But before I gush over Navi some more, let's set the stage a little. Heading into the playoffs, it really did feel as if we were getting all of the best teams with all of their unique storylines. A Boomage comeback, Dog Supremacy fully realized, Nico finally doing it, Kerrigan on home soil, or Zaiwu becoming the two-time. But alas, there could only be one winner. First up, we had Vitality versus C9. Now, this was sort of Boomage's big comeback after having his personal life aired out on social media. Then, of course, you had the other members of Old Navi in the form of Electronic and Perfect, and Axile and Hobbit from Gambit C9, who were sort of making this super team just trying to find success. Then on the other side, you had Vitality, who were really hungry to get back-to-back -back majors across two iterations of Counter-Strike. Now, Zaiwu had been surprisingly quiet up until this point, due in large part, I imagine, to an illness that he said he'd had during the group stage that made him delirious at some points. Thankfully, Vitality were able to rely on the depth that they've been building. Flamesy went huge, and they went through to the semis with a convincing 2-0. After that stomp came an absolute belter, the best series of the major between FaZe and Spirit that went to two two overtimes. Unfortunately for a lot of people's pickums, Donk did not have the support to overcome FaZe's experience, despite outfragging literally the entire server. Donk has found a perfect opportunity, lovely find, Donk destroys three! Now, day two saw the mighty Turks that everyone was cheering for fall to Na'Vi and the young guns on Moe's suffer a similar fate to G2. Unfortunately, the vibes were sort of soured by the clowns who stormed the stage during map two of G2 versus Moe's. Now, thankfully, it didn't last too long and the rest of the event went off without a hitch. But I do think that this was probably a bit of a wake-up call for TOs. According to our team on the ground, it just felt a little too easy for people to rush the stage. Why this happened in the first place is probably the subject of another video. I'm just glad that everyone was safe and that we were able to get on with the CS. Now, the results of these quarterfinals meant that we were going to see in the semis Vitality, Navi, G2, and FaZe. A literal dream for any CS fan. And the matches did not disappoint, with all three going all three maps. There were some blowouts on certain maps, mind you. Snowballing has always been a thing in CS, but with MR12, you can really feel it, especially because there still haven't been any adjustments to the economy. Anyway, inside the server, we saw Phase versus Vitality. And I gotta say, man, Zaiwu was just not there. Now, glancing at the score sheet, you might think he did fine. The problem is that fine isn't good enough for a superstar of his caliber in the semi-final of a major that, frankly, could have been his for the taking. I think it's fair to say that Zaiwu not getting activated did play the biggest role in Vitality's loss. And unfortunately, the same can sort of be said for G2. Monacy played insane, out of his mind, and that was the most competitive series since FaZe versus Spirit. But my God, could Nico just not turn it on? They're waiting for it. Monacy gonna throw out the smoke, but we need a flash. Oh no, he goes ahead of it. Oh no, it's gonna be JL a bit. 
see what you got. Misses his first, getting overrun. It looks like G2's time. Here in Copenhagen is over as JL racks up another. One more kill. Wonderful gets it. This was Nico and Hunter's chance to finally win their major. Never in go, but the first time out in two. The storyline was right there. And unfortunately, just wasn't meant to be. But hats off to Navi and Alexi B, who continued to prove the haters wrong. That streak continued well into the finals against FaZe. Kerrigan's Matt Vito games felt part genius, part insane a lot of the time. And sure, it worked once with Vertigo against Spirit, but when he floated Ancient in the Grand Finals, it did sort of come back and bite them in the ass. And he is not giving them anything. All the pressure is on Rain's shoulders. No kit means it's he done. needs the kill. And JL has arrived in the Royal Arena! To be fair, FaZe did bounce back really hard and just obliterate Na'Vi on Mirage, but that did sort of feel like the last time that we saw any of them in the server, really. I want to be clear. Navi played lights out on Inferno, but that was by far the worst, most anticlimactic way to end such a spectacular major. And again, a huge part of that was Navi just being unstoppable. They were crazy. But I do feel like the combination of MR12 and Inferno and CS2 didn't help. Kerrigan literally finished the map with one kill. Another brutal loss on Inferno that he's not likely to forget. But once again, all credit needs to go to Navi, who so many people questioned going into this major. First off, Bit. Look, it's no secret that he probably struggled a little bit switching to English comms when Navi went international, but Homie went absolutely ham in the finals. This guy was a top five rifler in 2021, and it is so nice to see him back on top. Then of course there's Wonderful, an amazing opera in his own right, but one who would have to fill the shoes of his idol, Simple. The fact that he was able to win a major with the dream work that he never thought he'd have the opportunity to join is just so heartwarming. Emma came so close to winning a major last year, but people genuinely weren't sure whether the lightning would be able to strike twice. Suffice it to say, it did. Same with JL, a player constantly doubted since joining Navi, and of course, Alexi B, who'd been on a very up and down revenge arc since leading ends to a major final back in 2019. Falling short and getting kicked. To many, that was Alexi B's legacy. But on the world's biggest stage, in a new version of Counter-Strike, in a stupidly competitive bracket, he proved everyone wrong. And it was so cool to see. Alexi B is a major winning IGL. Emma, the first Romanian, my boy. And of course, JL, J Legend, the lion, one of the scariest riflers in the world now, and a major MVP. Bit, two majors and a slam at 21 and wonderful, filling the shoes of his hero and earning his dream org a major their first time out in CS2. These, these are your major champions. These are the kings of CS2. The best moment of the rest of their lives is about to come through. And there's the killing blow! But they're not the only ones. The biggest takeaway from this major is that things have been shaken up. Like it or not, the new generation is here. Munasi, Donk, they are taking over. But what's more, we're seeing unprecedented levels of longevity out of seasoned and in some cases discounted players. CS2 is here and with it, the next generation of grinders. But those grinders are both young and old. It is a very exciting time for Counter-Strike. I can't wait to see where it leads. See you in Shanghai. Bit is my the shy. Everybody forgot, bro. Everybody forgot the forgotten goat, my God. This guy was like literally 19 years old. He wins a slam and a major in his first, his rookie season with Navi. Maybe at his best, a top three rifler in the world. And then just not plummets, but like, just like off. Like everybody forgets, so like, oh, like whatever. And this homie's back, dude, homie's back.